All right, guys, so I said I would film a video of me cleaning these items. This is the purse, very dirty, and it is a Michael Kors. I also have an idea for cleaning up, um, not cleaning up, but refurbishing the white on this. So I will show y'all that as well, because it's a little worn, and we'll see if it pans out. <laughs> All right, and then the other thing is this really super cute little coach wallet. I'm not, I haven't even tried to get that off yet. I guess I should condition that first and see, or use a baby wipe. A lot of times it'll come out with a baby wipe. And also, I think I need to feed my dogs so they don't bark the entire time. All right, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start out with filling the sink with hot water and then adding a scoop of this uh, LA's Totally Awesome. And it comes from Dollar Tree, and it's amazing. And you can, two scoops if you want. I may do two. I'm not sure, but I'm going to start filling this up and get my baby wipes, and I'll show you all how, um, hopefully, I can get this ink stain out. So I've got the sink filling, and I went and got my baby wipe. And my dog is still barking. Sometimes, I don't know why, this looks like it's been here for a long time and spread into the leather. For whatever reason, sometimes a wipe will get out ink. And there's no rhyme or reason. These are alcohol-free wipes. Um, it is maybe lightening it slightly. Let me work on it a minute. Both hands. Okay, I did work on it a little bit more. And it did not really come out. But always, guys, always give that a shot first before you try anything else on an ink stain because sometimes it will get it out. I am not that worried about it because it's on the inside of this wallet. So next step is going to be, I want y'all to see. The next step is going to be to go ahead and put it in the water. And when I put it in, I will first, oof, that's very hot. I'm <laughs> little cold water that and I'm, I apologize if the water is loud I'm sorry about that I can't tell how it sounds to y'all so hope okay I like to agitate it a little bit in here I usually do it with both hands it's a little easier to do with a bag so I'm gonna do that and as you can see, the water is already kind of getting a little dirty. And I just like with my hands, we'll move it around. Okay, and then I'm going to leave that for about five minutes. All right, guys. I hope that this is set up where y'all can see. I've kind of finagled this. And my dog is still barking, and I don't know why. He's a little special. Okay, so I have a... <clears throat> I guess it was originally like, a, um, um, blanking out here, like a fingernail brush, but it works great for cleaning these things. I've also made a paste with just a smidge of that LA's Totally Awesome, and I'm going to put that to the side, and so I'm going to dip my brush in that and get a little bit on there. And I know some people like to coat it with that and let it sit, but with this one, I don't feel like it was dirty enough to do that. So I am just going to, okay, so I'm just gonna continue to do this. Go over each little part. And y'all forgive me with my editing. I'm going to try to edit this so it's not super boring, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. But I am, as y'all know, a newbie to the editing process. So, And I'm really going to try to make more videos for y'all now that I can have this editing software that is really pretty easy to use. Um, I'm excited about it. I know my thrift with me yesterday was not that awesome. That was a terrible thrift store. I'm going to go thrifting today and film some footage and try to put together a better a better video so so I'm going to soak that again and as y'all can see this uh, the water is getting very very milky 
from the dirt. Okay, so I'm just looking it over. It looks like we've still got, I don't know if y'all can see that, a little dirt area here. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. And you wanna try to be careful not to scrub the leather. So this leather on these coach items is pretty durable, but you don't wanna test it, you know? Especially if you get one that is the metallic coating. I've washed many of those, but you do have to baby that metallic coating or it will peel off. You don't wanna take a scrub brush and scrub that part of it, okay? I feel like these coach items clean up so beautifully. You can really get an amazing transformation on some of this stuff. All right, so I think we're pretty much done with this item. I think it's as clean as it's gonna get. I don't see any big spots on it. So we're gonna drain this water. Okay, so I've drained the water, and again, I apologize for any, if that water is loud. I'm just rinsing all of the sudsy stuff out. Okay, so we are done with this item. Whoop! <laughs> Did y'all see that water squirt? Okay. So I'm just kind of pressing it out. Let me turn that off. Just kind of pressing it out. So let's let that dry and I'll show y'all the after. And we'll get started on the purse. I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the wallet, which is close this up, fill it up with hot water, and a scoop of the LA's Totally Awesome. And it will stick to the bottom, so that's why I get my hands and kind of agitate it. I'm gonna do a little bit more than a scoop. This is a really dirty purse. Okay, while this is filling up, I just wanted to, whoops, show y'all. But look at that. It's got some big stains here. It's such a cute purse though, and I think it still has a lot of life left in it for summertime so okay so I am going to go ahead and put this in there now I am trying to avoid getting the handles wet I'm sure that it will be inevitable that they will get wet but I'm I've got hot water again the LA is totally awesome I'm agitating this a bit Okay, so I let that sit for a little while, and I have this rigged up. I've got a uh, <laughs> a cooking spoon over the edge of the other side. I have a two-sided um, sink, and it's just holding these um, handles up. Okay, so it's super-duper dirty, so I am going to go ahead with the paste. I added more, and I am going to go ahead and spot treat one side. I'm just going to do one side right now and let it sit. And I hope this is helpful helpful for you guys. People have asked me to do this for a while, but again, didn't have what I needed to edit it. So, hopefully it's not boring. If it is, y'all let me know and I'll fast forward or something. I don't know. I'll try to edit it so it's not too monotonous. Okay, let's let that sit. Okay, I have let this sit for about, I don't know, 15 minutes. If I had more time, I would have let it sit longer, but I really don't have time. In fact, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to clean the other half before I have to leave. Which, if that's okay, I can leave it sitting. See how the dirt's coming off? I don't know if y'all can see that. Let's see. I don't know if that's showing up. If I had someone filming for me, I'd have them zoom in right now, but I don't, so. And I love this brush. It works great. Now, you could use a toothbrush. 
or like a, a hard toothbrush, not a soft bristle. So I'm just going to continue to brush over the areas. I won't make y'all watch all that. With the corners sometimes, let's see, let me unhook this. You are going to want to, hold on, get your hand in the bag so that you can get into those corners and clean them. I'm sorry. It takes a lot of elbow grease, guys. A lot to get some of these bags clean. And I have a feeling this one is not going to be perfectly clean. It's just not. But it's going to be a whole lot better than it was. And once it dries, I don't think that the dirt will be noticeable. So, at any rate, even if it doesn't turn out well, it gave me the opportunity to show you guys how to clean this stuff. Alright, so now the other side's still filthy, right? <laughs> this side looks a little better. We are going to rinse it. And a lot of times that will um, rinse out even more of the dirt. Okay. So, I'm going to refurbish those anyway, so they're just going to have to get wet. So, see how, let's see, and then you can still like spot little areas where you still need to clean. Like I'm still seeing, I hope the camera's picking that up, some dirt right there. So I'm going to go ahead and I use this soft side and then I really get in there with this harder side. And there. Came clean. You can still see a faint line right here. And again, a lot of people probably would have just thrown this in the washing machine, but I, I don't know. I like doing it by hand, and I feel like they get cleaner because you can go in and work on each certain area. And see, look how clean the corners got. I know it's not perfect. I'm aware. But we all saw where we started with this bag. Oh, I'm pretty happy with that. And I have not done the entire bottom. I'm just, I've just done the front and the corners. All right, so I'm going to rinse that and I'll show you what that's up. So again, even just from rinsing that second time, see how dirty that water is? Okay. Here's the front. It looks really, really good. Here's the corners of the zipper that were really dirty, and you can tell, like, here's the other side. I hope you can tell. And then there's the clean side. Same over here. Not as dirty on that side. Corners. Still a little bit of dirt, but nothing like they were before. Okay. Still a little. Not as bad as that. So, I am not going to film myself cleaning the entire rest of the purse. I'm going to do the same thing that I did on each side. Like, I'm going to start with the bottom. I'm going to make a paste and let that sit. Scrub again. Rinse. Da-da-da. And then move on to this side. And I'll show you all how it looks when I'm done. Alright, guys. Finished product. Here is the coach. Could have scrubbed a little harder. Right here in these areas, probably. Looks really good though. Check it out. It's not completely dry yet. Looks really, really nice. Um, the purse looks great. However, as it dried, it got some kind of, I guess it just, it bled through dirt from the inside so it looks amazing other than that look how clean this canvas is but it it bled through somehow so <clears throat> let me show y'all how clean it got 
still a little bit down here. But I don't know about this dirt that bled through. So anyway, um, I can reclean it. I can, if anybody's interested in it, I can reclean it. I cannot reclean it, but still show y'all how to do acrylic paint on these. Um, or we can just say that this was a good tutorial and we're done. So anyway, aside from that, that bled through really turned out nicely. It's kind of disappointing. Like look around the zipper, how clean it got. So, anyway, that's that. Hope that this was helpful for you guys. Let me know. Give me feedback on whether you want me to reclean it. If anybody's interested in purchasing it. Or if we want to see the um, handles being painted. Etc. That's kind of straightforward. I just, you paint them and then you seal them. But anyway. Okay. Um, thanks a lot, you guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Until then, y'all keep it thrifty.